So this is the dashboard that I built using um, Plotly Dash and that I've been using um, on, the, on my last project. So the first graph on this is basically a burn down chart, but it uh, shows a lot more than, than what you would typically see on a burn down chart. So each, each uh, horizontal bar here represents one story. Each uh, um, rectangle here um, represents one work day. Um, so in this case, for example, this was an eight point story um, um, and this was completed in five days, five work days. Um, the vertical um, height of these bars um, represents the story size. So the, the edge of this is basically what you would see in a, in a, in a burn down chart. Um, the dashboard also makes predictions on uh, um, how um, in how many workdays a story is likely to be completed based on um, statistics based on basically past past data and it shows you here uh, both in terms in number terms but also through the through the coloring uh where where it is in terms of um its completion right for example in this in this uh instance here the story was a five pointer uh was completed exactly as predicted um um on on day one two three four five six seven eight on day eight here it was one hundred percent it used one hundred percent of the predicted uh work days. Um, in this instance here, it used 192, so almost uh, twice as many workdays as, as predicted. I find this uh, very useful, uh, both um, on a kind of day-to-day -day kind of monitoring um, uh, basis, because you see this information also for in-flight stories, right? For example, this one hasn't completed yet and is already already a bit past due. Um, so it might be uh, so in a stand up might be good to ask what's uh, uh, whether any help is needed here. Um, it also uh, shows you here when in-flight stories are predicted to, to complete, uh, like the ghosted out bars here. These are all projections. Um, that's basically it in terms of this, this graph here. Mm. What I find even more useful though uh, on a day-to-day -day basis is this graph down here, which is uh, the moving average throughput, so how, how many story points are delivered um, in, a, in a given time window. Like for example, here we're looking at a 20 day time window and on, uh, on May 11, in the last 20 work days, 71 points were delivered. It also shows you here um, uh, how stories are dropping And it uses the same kind of uh, coloring scheme as as above. Um, and you can you can change the window size, right? So you can you can look at the kind of longer term trend, like here, where it shows kind of a slight upward trend. And you also can look at more short term data. For example, here um, a five day window, so one work day, uh, one work week window that is more useful kind of on a day-to-day -day basis to see kind of uh, short-term things that may have an effect on the on the long-term trend if if un, unchecked or unaddressed right so uh, for different things i look at at different 
different windows. It also uh, shows you the projected uh, data here, right? Um, like the ghosted outline is here, the projected line based on um, uh, what is already in flight. Um, here, for example, for today, um, this could still go up to 24 points from 21 because this one story here, the, the three pointer is already overdue, so it may as well it may well uh, complete over the course of the day. Um, so that's basically this graph. I find this by far the most important and most useful graph. If I would, um, if I had to use only one, I would use I was I would use this because you can use this really nicely for kind of um, longer term projections and milestone planning. Um, okay, what else? Um, and I recently added this graph down here. But I mean, this has still kind of uh, needs to kind of prove its its worth. Um, I haven't really used it uh, yet, right? So this basically shows you how many stories are in flight at any point in time. And I think it, it would be really useful to see this in relation to the actual team size, right? So if if this line is significantly above or below the team size, then that probably points to some kind of problem, right? Either one one person has too many stories um, in flight or uh, one person has either nothing to do or there's some work here that is um, um, unaccounted for um, some somehow. Um, that's this. So the, so the way, uh, so the workflow that I, use with these things is I start uh, kind of exploring the data in a in a Jupyter notebook that uh, looks some something like this. Um, here, for example, I've been looking at um, uh, kind of moving average uh, cycle time by story size, right? So I wanted to see is a is this kind of stable stable over time? Because uh, this, of course, has has a bearing on how how useful the data on the dashboard is, right? And here you can see that uh, one point stories are quite stable. Um, so three point and um, five point stories, but there's a clear upward trend in terms of uh, cycle time of eight point stories that uh, kind of almost doubled from, no, not quite doubled, um, like a 70% said, um, increase here from 10 to 16 days. Um, yeah, so, and, uh, so I start playing with the data like this. And if I find something that I keep coming back to and uh, that I think is, is useful, then I um, actually put it on the put it on the dashboard. So far, only these three have uh, passed that test. Yeah, that's basically it.